I'm going to start today's vlog with a Ducati and Ken. He's got the helmet and the bike. Wasting away again in Margaritaville. Alright, Alex, I'm calling you out. One, I'm parked on that side of the line because there was a F1450 huge ass truck where that Civic is now. But Alex parked next to me and he manually folded his mirrors in. They don't have, but Alex, clean your car. It's spotted, it's going to etch. Beautiful parking now. Points for points are awarded. Ken, we got to get out here. Somebody's waiting for my spot. Ford Bronco. Oh, that was Absolutely shape. mint. In and out. Seats, dash, wheels, paint, bumpers. Not my style. Man, is that clean. Found ourselves a vintage Hartley Davidson. What do you think the uh, time is on this one? What year, Ken? What year? So that's yeah. probably, I would imagine, like, Looks like mid 40s. Mid 40s, perhaps. How many miles? Original seat, as he pointed out. 13,625. Wow. 13,625. Damn. Well, oh, it could have rolled over. Yeah. Could be, could be. Yeah, but I doubt it. That's just clean. Hey. So we got in class today, got um, legal and regulatory environment of business done, simple, note taking. Um, Joe had to leave early so I wandered around and listened to some music and then I found Alex and then we went up to 70's floor and then I went to class, second class we sat down, Marvin Gaye comes in, it's a professor, it's my nickname for him, and um, says hey if you turn in your paper on Tuesday get out of here. Of course I turn it in on Tuesday, it's due on Tuesday, I do things when they're due or before. So I got to leave. So Ken and I went downtown Kent, we saw whatever that was, the Harley and the Bronco. Hung out there for a little bit, took him back for his class, came back here, got home about 30-40 minutes early. Um, had a box of parts from the BMW parts store that I ordered about a month ago, so I kind of went through that, show you guys later. And uh, then I just blew off the backyard and the driveway from leaves, and now we're going to mow. Uh, and that should wrap things up for the week, over the, over the weekend I might have to get back over there. But, that's where we stand. It's another picture perfect day. This has been the nicest fall we've probably we've had it since I can remember. Just it feels like I'm in California. Perfect temperatures, light little breeze, rain once a week, clear blue skies. I love it. Hope it keeps up for a while. It's also been a great success working in the yard today. Check that. We got all the leaves blown off earlier, and then I mowed it, and it looks real nice. Still can't believe it's late September. That thing's shot up in a few days. I'm going to do that over the weekend. Looking great, though. vlog what's up so cars a bit haphazard in the garage right now I'll explain why in a moment uh, the Honda is back but it's not it's out picking up dinner but we got it back they fixed the rust in the arches and a broken piece of trim looks real nice so the 330 is back outside boo hiss I just cleaned it up the other day it was all nice and now it's got to sit outside again crap but the house is more hers than mine so I'm happy that I do get one big nice garage spot so anyways, that uh, order from the BMW Mini Parts Store arrived today with a couple various pieces of trim and little stuff that I needed to replace. So I uh, have already removed the door panel, filmed an E39 source video, taken the vapor barrier back to replace this. Another door break. I did the one in the 330 because it was whining and squeaking. This one was not doing that at all. It just, something in it had become loose and when you would open the door to the point where they stop, like that's a point, that's another point right there, and then the first one, I guess the first one is here. But at those points, it would make all kinds of noise and like click, click, and rattle around in there. So I decided to uh, take it upon myself to replace it. The parts are inexpensive and readily available at this point in time, so I thought I'd take advantage of that. So that's a new piece of trim or a new grommet. That's new rubber. The arm is new and the screws are new. And now it's dead silent and it feels real nice. 
So I'm gonna move the car back where it goes and chalk that up as another success. I love jobs like that because they're, you know, probably more work than what it's worth, but you put a hundred of those jobs together and you come up with a car that's kind of unlike most others. Nobody else would really take the initiative to do that. That's why this car doesn't look and feel like a 190,000 mile car. We've taken the time and the care and the expense to do those little things. Because somebody <laughs> didn't grease the pads when we put them in, and they squeak like a. Something. Guys, I am not a firm believer. I'm not a believer at He's all. He's not actually. a firm believer, but he missed it really loud. You can hear it coming down the street. I know his brakes are loud as shit. I, I always just blamed it on the M54 2.5, but that doesn't hold up real well. So we put these Hawk HPS pads and Brembo rotors or OEs or whatever they are on all four points, like a year and a half ago and uh, it squeaks really badly. And I never, this tiny little bit of red grease, that can't do shit. Well, I used it on Luke's car and I've used it on mine since and Kenan was the only one that I thought I was above the policy. Hey, you're getting free labor, shut the hell up. <laughs> so now we're going back and um, putting it back together with, uh, with, with the red grease. So we did the front left, did the front right, did the rear right, now we're pulling the rear left take the pads out, lube them up, clean everything up, inspect everything and put it back. Meanwhile, Kenan's fixing his, his windows that make all kinds of noises. They all work, but they just make clicks and unhappy noises when they go up and down. So I think, has this one been a success? Yes. So that, that one's been a success. This one has not. This one has not, and that's why Kenan's getting his hands dirty now for once, and I'm gonna fix his window, show him how it's done. All right, well, I'm about dead. It's 2.32, I've been up for nearly 20 hours. Kenan left a little bit ago. We got a bunch of work done on his 5.25, um, incl including uh, fixing both rear window regulators. They worked, they clicked, they made noise. Now that's fixed. I got the um, door break in the M5. That's nice and quiet now. Did an E39 source video scheduled to publish tomorrow at 10 a.m. Speaking of tomorrow, tomorrow is the uh, release date for the iPhone 6S. Mine should be delivering tomorrow. I'm very excited for that on Friday. Um, I, I'm totally exhausted though. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go to bed. So uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. My back is killing me, I can barely walk. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to going up, laying down and falling asleep. So I will talk tomorrow on Friday. Good night.